Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to create your first AI agent uh, or how to create your first Telegram AI agent, including credentials, how to get Telegram tokens, and how to make it all work in N8N. So that's going to be basically the scope of the tutorial. And make sure to download this entire uh, JSON template for free because you will need it for this tutorial. Otherwise, it's not going to work unless you want to do everything from scratch and go from there. But as a beginner, I suggest you download this first and then it's going to be much easier, guys. Okay, so once you download it, uh, link is going to be below the video in the description box. Um, then go to N8N, create new workflow, click on these three dots right here and click on import from file. And once you do, you're gonna have exactly the same thing. And always make sure to click save after making those changes, okay? Cool, so now I assume you have the same thing uh, that's on my screen right now. Uh, so the next thing, what we wanna do, we wanna get the Telegram app, okay? So if you don't, go to App Store, um, download Telegram application on your phone, create an account that's gonna ask you to enter your um, the phone number, then it's going to send you a verification uh, code, and that's pretty much it. And once you do, you're going to click on the uh, icon to create a new message. So I believe that's going to be on the right corner side. And once you do, search for this contact, which is called Bot Fodder right here. Let me just um, uh, find it for you. Here it is. So this one right here, guys, uh, make sure you select this one right here. That is exactly Bot Fodder because there's a lot of uh fake ones right so uh people might try to spam you or scam you um so make sure it is at bot fodder okay this is the one with the blue check mark that's the official one from telegram uh this is basically a official telegram bot um that allows you to create custom bots in telegram okay so once you're there you're gonna do something like uh slash start guys so do slash start and then it's gonna basically guide you to create a new bot, right? And in your case, it's gonna be slash new bot like this. And then it's gonna create new bot. It's gonna ask you to uh, give a name to your bot. So do that. And if you did everything correctly and if the name was available, it's gonna say congratulations on your new bot. And it's gonna give you two things. So the first one is gonna be the link to the chat, okay? Or to the workflow uh, with your new bot. Okay, so save that, or you can always come back to the chat, don't worry about it. Um, the most important one is the one where it says, use this token to access the HTTP API, okay? So copy paste this entire long number with the letters and send it to your own uh, email or Gmail or whatever, okay? So send it to your email because you will need access um, on the computer or Mac, whatever you're using, right? So copy that into your Gmail and send it to yourself. Right, because we will need that to connect that uh, to connect the Telegram to the N8N. Right, so the first step is done. So now let's go back to N8N. So let's continue here. So if you downloaded the workflow and you see exactly the same thing that I'm seeing on my screen, uh, if you don't, if you have any problems or you run into any issues, um, just let me know down in the comments what it is, and I'm gonna help you out. Okay, don't worry about it. So then you're gonna click here on Telegram trigger. Okay, and here where it says credential uh, to connect with, click on the job down menu, then click on create new credential. And once you receive an email uh, that you sent yourself a minute ago, copy that long number from Telegram and copy paste in here, okay? Make sure you don't add any like extra spaces or like uh, mouse clicks or anything like that because it's uh, case sensitive, right? And also it can accept an empty space and then it's gonna error out. So make sure you copy paste exactly the token you got from Telegram into here and then click save and boom guys, congrats, you are done with the 50% of the connection, okay? So now what we need, uh, we need to go back to the workflow and now we're gonna click on this node right here. Send no, uh, um, send no image or essentially you can also do the send success message like any of these Telegram nodes right here. Just let's say we're gonna click on this one. It doesn't really matter. And here you can see something chat ID, okay? So this is my chat ID, okay? It's not gonna work for you, so it's really important that you replace it, okay? And it's a little bit tricky to get your chat ID, okay? So uh, basically, you can find how to do it uh, on the GitHub. I'll be providing this link as well um, and how it works and how to do it. But again, once you go on that link, you're gonna copy this right here uh, from the get chat ID for channel. So important, this part right here, 
And step number three, so copy paste HTTPS URL and bring it to your URL handle and copy paste. And you're gonna see it says in the curly braces, uh, our bot token, okay? So you wanna delete everything from curly braces. If you guys just look carefully at my screen like I'm doing it, delete everything all the way until bot like this. So your bot slash and then get updates, okay? And now you're gonna go back again to your Gmail. You're gonna copy paste that long token number with letters and numbers. And you're gonna copy paste it right after the bot. So right after the letter T, copy paste it in there. And don't hit enter yet. Don't do anything, leave it in your URL handle, okay? Then you're gonna go back to your Telegram, all right? And send any message to the bot that you created, okay? So for example, uh, this is my bot uh, where I was creating the invoices. Just send any message, doesn't matter. Just say something like some gibberish like this and hit send. Really important, okay? That's how we're gonna be activating the API, okay? So once you've done that, go back to your browser and now hit enter on that uh, really funny looking URL. And once you do, you're gonna see something like this right here. You guys can see here is the message, the funny message I sent, which is like HHS, and you should see the same thing. Whatever you send, it should be now uh, given as an output here to the JSON. Okay, so don't really get confused about uh, these things here. All you need to be looking out for is this one right here that says chat and that is followed by ID. So take this entire number after chat and ID. So after the column, so copy this entire number right here. Be careful, copy it, bring it to your N8N and you guys can see this is the exact match with mine. So delete this one and replace with your chat ID, okay? And then click save and guys, congratulations. This is how you connect your Telegram to it and it's super easy, way, way easier than doing uh, WhatsApp bots and agents, guys, okay? And if you're gonna be adding any other uh, Telegram nodes, for example, here I have the send success message. The same thing, make sure to select your credential. And again, make sure to copy paste the same chat ID in here, okay? So if you're adding any other Telegram nodes, it's gonna be exactly the same step-by-step -step process for the rest of the nodes, guys. And guys, congrats, that's that's how you create your first Telegram AI agent slash bot in it. And, um, and if you guys wanna make this workflow work for you right here, uh, the last step you need to do, you need to also uh, download, not download, you need to copy paste uh, this spreadsheet right here. I'm gonna be also leaving a link for it in the description. So download it or copy paste whatever and bring it to your, um, bring it to your Google account spreadsheets um a section right and make sure it has the same name and everything and then give access to uh the spreadsheets through your gmail so click on this spreadsheet google sheets node right here okay just click on it twice and here where it says uh, my gmail account again you're gonna go here create new credential and simply sign in with your gmail and once you do um it's gonna be good to go let me just close this one right here and now you need to just make sure that it's synced. And here where it says document, click on the job done menu and select that spreadsheet. So if you're seeing you've connected success successfully and you place it in the right folder, okay? So in my case, um, I'm not placing it in any specific folders. So if I go here, if I go to my sheets, right? Uh, it's just somewhere in here. So you can do the same thing. The minute you drop it in here, uh, it's gonna be populating in your, um, in your edit and as an option guys okay and then you're going to click here on the sheet and make sure you select the sheet one that's going to be the only option available there and once you do all these changes click save make sure it's activated right here uh, refresh and now you can take picture of any receipt on your phone send it to your uh, telegram and it's basically going to analyze the image and it's going to send you a nice summary of the receipt so if you guys can look, look at the camera this is the receipt basically, this is the image of the receipt, and then it gives you gives you the summary of details and everything about the receipt for your uh, reference and locks the same thing on the spreadsheet right here, guys, pretty awesome, right? But hey guys, that's about it. I hope you did enjoy the video, if you did, um, and if you are just starting off with it, and there's gonna be a partner link available uh, in the comment section for myself. So if you wanna support the channel, make sure to use that partner link to create an account with it, and 
I would appreciate that. If not, that's totally fine. Um, but at least if you did enjoy the video, um, then make sure to like and subscribe and enable notifications because as you already know, I'm always writing free JSON templates, uh, full tutorials, and it's always value packed. And really my whole point here is to make sure that you as a beginner learn the basics and foundations of automation and NAN so you can start landing your own clients or really just, you know, becoming an expert in AI automation in NAN guys. But yeah, you already know guys, I'm going to see you next time as always.